Hello, in this video I'm going to share with you how to replace the seal on a Thetford C250 or C260 toilet cassette. Thankfully, Thetford have made the cassette in such a way that it's very easy for us to replace a seal in just a few minutes. So let's have a look at what we will need to complete the job. The seal itself is part number 23721 and is readily available. In fact, I popped into my local dealership and picked one up off the shelf. You will also need a cross-headed screwdriver, some seal lubricant, and if you can't get of any seal lubricant, olive oil is a great substitute. And finally, because we're dealing with a toilet cassette, a pair of rubber gloves would be a great idea. Okay, so let's open the cassette and get access to the seal. You'll see that the cassette has a few markings on the lid. We have an arrow, a circle, and a disc. The circle shows us that the cassette is open, the disc indicates that the cassette is closed, and the arrow is just a marker to show the current position. To open the cassette we will use the sliding cover as a handle. Simply remove the cover and reinsert back into the grooves but from the other side, as you can see here. Only insert it about halfway and this gives us a lever to unlock the tank mechanism. I find it's better to push the sliding cover away from me and push it in an anti-clockwise direction. We will want to push the tank mechanism until the arrow points to the circle or the unlocked symbol. Now it's unlocked we can remove the mechanism and put the cassette to one side. With the tank mechanism face down we can see that we need to remove a couple of components to get full access to the seal. We'll do this in two parts. Firstly, we will remove the screw that holds the blade in place. Once removed, we can gently push the swing arm, which looks like a triangle, to the right, as seen here. Once moved over, we can gently lift the corner of the plastic half moon and pull the swing arm out of the way. This will allow us to remove the blade completely. It's a good idea to clean the blade up, as we want this to fit snugly against the new seal. The second task, once the blade is removed, is to gently rotate the swing arm all the way around so we finally have access to the seal retaining cover. With access to the seal cover, we can now remove the six screws which hold it in place. Unscrew and remove all of them, and it's a great idea to clean this cover and the edges of the lid as well. This will ensure that the seal fits nice and flush against the plastic parts when refitted. With the cover removed, it's a simple case now of replacing the old seal with the new one. But before we refit, let's spray the seal with some seal lubricant or olive oil to condition and protect the seal to prolong the component life. Refitting is easy. Place the seal with the beveled edge face down and replace the cover back onto the seal. The cover will only fit one way as there is a locating pin on one side. Screw the cover from one corner to another. This will ensure that the seal cover goes back on flat. Also, don't over tighten the screws. You will risk damaging the cassette lid, so just make sure the finger tight. Now place the blade back into place and pull the swing arm back over in an anti-clockwise direction. Now lift the swing arm slightly at one edge and relocate the blade back underneath the swing arm. When situated back in place, add the final screw to the blade. Now the mechanism is reassembled, move your fingers out of the way and rotate the orange knob on the lid to move the blade in the open and closed position. Ensure its motion is nice and smooth and that there is no resistance or grinding. All that is left to do now is refit the lid back onto the cassette. So place the mechanism back on the lid with a small arrow pointing to the circle marker or the unlocked symbol. Ensure the lid is flush to the cassette and again using the sliding cover refit and pull in an anti-clockwise direction until the mechanism is in the locked position. Refit the sliding cover so both arrows are facing each other. 
So there we are, a simple yet effective repair for the Thetford C250 and C260 toilet cassette. Older cassettes use this exact same part and instructions for the various cassettes are included in the packet. So thank you very much for watching today. Take care. Bye for now.